YouTube, what's going on? Mountain View prepping here. So, I got the wife's car out of here, and it's down getting tires and all that stuff taken care of. So I got the FJ in here today because hunting season's over for this year. So I had to do is clean up the inside because it was a mess. So I got the inside all nice and clean, except for the outside of that windshield, which is horrible. But got the inside all nice and clean. I don't know if you can even see that. I didn't do go crazy with the floor, all of that, and like around the rugs. But the door panels, I got all those wiped down and everything all cleaned and vacuumed out. Uh, whoever designed this truck, I don't know. I think whoever works on them should have to design them because if you look up under here, the way that they built it, it collects all kinds of stuff in there. Then when you get around to the back, there's a gap right here. That when I tell you, you open this back door up, which I can't do in a garage right now. But when you open it up, it uh, is just filled, caked with goo. But this one here is a 2014. And it's only got 80,000 miles on it. Bought a brand new hot showroom floor. I mean, she's dirty. Because like I said, hunting season and all the snow and the Pennsylvania weather. It's uh, But I got a 3-inch Pro Comp lift on it. Some trail guide tires, all terrains, which are amazing in the snow, on the street, they're quiet. The uh, only thing is, I got 63,000 miles off the factory tires, which were not good in the snow. But I was running down to uh, New Jersey to work at a, we'll say a train company. So I got 63,000 out of that. I actually got 63,000 miles out of the original brakes. And then I lifted it. His figure, well, if you're going to need tires, you might as well lift it. <clears throat> and these were what they looked like originally. This is the spare because I had to buy five tires because these are a lot bigger than the stock ones. But those things were amazing. A lot of siping, pretty decent lugs on them, and never had a complaint the only thing is, like I said, they're getting a little, little bit low now. I'll probably get through this winter with them and then uh, end up, unfortunately, having to change them out, which is fine because the uh, the size is what I'm going to keep because that's as big as, for some reason, when Toyota designed this truck, I think it's on the, yeah, it's on the other side. So let me go on this side if I can see it. That thing right there. Whatever this is, when I turn my wheel all the way, I miss that thing by, like, a tiny bit. Well, when the tires were new anyway. Now, I can get a bigger tire in there. But between that and the frame back there, it, uh, it'll it rub. So, I think these are 33s or 35s. I honestly don't remember. But... <clears throat> No rust, no nothing, no issues whatsoever. I still have the original headlights in there from 2014 with 82,000 miles on them. Not that the miles matter with the headlights, but the only thing I did was lifted it three inches. And on the mirror lights here, <clears throat> I just changed those to LEDs. Besides that, everything's original. The only thing I've had to do this was brakes. Obviously, in oil changes. But, which is due for one. But I'll tell you what. Toyota's products are literally just ridiculous. Never have an issue. Still, I, I replaced the battery. The original alternator, everything's original. The alternator, the, the headlights, even the marker lights, the blinkers, all original still. 80,000 miles, 10 years. I don't know how they do it and everybody else can't get it right. But, they're on to something. So please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.